Hairdressers will still be reopen though. I can't wait for gyms to be open. Really can't. Looking forward to things reopening again. It's not gonna happen. Schools are reopened. Yeah. And that's gonna cause a surge and everything's gonna lock down again. And Boris will find some way to pin it on us. Like he always fucking does. Oh, you're back underwater again. That's why his hair goes red. Because his hat gets wet, the ink runs, and dyes his hair. His hair's not red. It is. It's not. It you're colour blind. And you need it's to get that looked at because it could be serious. <laughs> Got viewers, back me up here. If there's anybody still watching this, has Mario got red hair? Simply type yes or no in the comments, and we'll know what you mean. Go on, viewers. Don't let us down. Come on. Get typing. <laughs> <sighs> Videos have we done now out of interest? So I don't know, I'll have to look, I'll have to check that. But we should consider, you know, retiring soon. No. Now we've reached success, go out with a bang kind of thing. You know what I mean? You don't want to outstay your welcome, do you? Less is more, we don't want to become like the Simpsons. How's he breathing under there? Just like free diving. <laughs> How many out of ten are you giving this game? Oh uh, god, I'm not giving it out of ten. Sure. Oh, give scores. Nearly, nearly, man. Favourite ever Mario game? Let's do that. Yeah, not sure. Not sure. I'll get thinking. Mine's Mario Kart. Probably one of the 2D ones. Oh, controversial. What's the very first one? Oh, no, that's terrible. What was it released? I, I think you're one of the DS ones. The new Super Mario Brothers. Yeah, that's a good quiz question. Now, what was the first Mario game released on? It was an arcade game. Oh. Nearly done. Bit of a sigh of relief going to people. Here we go. 69 stars. How many need 80? 70. Oh, really? But 69, Adam. <laughs> 69. Come on, we're more mature than to sink to that level. Oh, yeah, the grand days in a song about 69, isn't it? Oh, who cares? And people think she's a perfect pop princess. Yeah, isn't it? 34, 35. <sighs> Listen to that song. And say you what, there's kids out there will be listening to it singing about 69. Can you stay up all night? F bleak 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 to the daylight, I think is the lyrics. 34, 35. That's, that's the lyrics. That's the lyrics. So I mean, really, really, really. She's not like a little Miss Perfect that I press time and paint her out to be. She has got like a bit of a badass side, so it's like that. And that's what makes her listenable. Listen to the song, James. Do a bit of homework on it. Nothing. So it turns out you can combine power ups. So right now we're in 
with, with tangible and Mar 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 Mario. That's the only time you can do it, and it's the only time you need to do it. Mm -hmm. There we go, 70 stars. Time to finish the game. So you got you reached the magic number of seventy. Yep. Three score years and ten. What do you say would be a good first target? I think that is first base, isn't it, to try and get to before you can like death age, you know what I mean? I think that's my third that's what I'd like to get to first. And then seventy six, the average male death age. Second. And then I'd like to get into 80, then just go up through the 10s from there, basically. I'd love to be a centenarian, centenarian, whatever they call Centurion. What are you targeting, James? 69. Ariana Grande fan? No. Listen to that song. I'm going to play it no. now. You won't listen to Persona. Yeah, but that's not real music. I'm not listening to your crap. What music have you been listening to recently then, James? Persona. I've been listening to LL Cool J. <sighs> what a back catalogue that guy's got. Bloody hell. If you're in like a hip-hop mood, you know what I mean? A proper hip-hop. I'm not talking Kanye West crap. I'm talking proper hip-hop. Then listen to stuff like that. You know, LL Cool J. Is it, is it acceptable to say you're a Bobby Brown fan or not? Bobby Brown can be sometimes good. Um... People like that. He's more R and B though, isn't he? Uh, but yeah, Montel Jordan, Donnell Jones, they're R and B again. But LL Cool J, fantastic. Really got some great songs. Been listening to him a lot on Spotify, and I've been listening to a lot from just Murder Inc. Record label. If anyone knows who they are? I didn't understand a word she just said. Could have been German to me. No, that's Cascada. I don't listen to that. Not for a long time. Not since my chavvy school days, anyway. <laughs> just got the final boss left. After this, that's good because I've only got about ten minutes left before I need to get going with other jobs. So, <sighs> but yeah, what else have been listening to? Let me have a look at my playlist. Real spot. Um. Daily mixes are good, non repeat playlists. You need Spotify, James. No, I don't. You don't listen to enough music, though, do you? Not yeah. your rubbish. You listen to dance music as well, quite a bit of dance. God, playlists, isn't it? Yeah. In NCIS now, isn't it? NCIS Los Angeles, LL Cool J has gone into acting. <sighs> he did that lip sync battle, didn't he? he then to that. That was like a prequel to TikTok, weren't it? Lip sync battle. You were going to get a TikTok account, James? Nope. Being an argument, you'd be too ugly for it, isn't it? Oh, he has bad Bowser. What have you got to do? Just... swing his tail again. Please don't say you've got to swing his tail. Yep. Oh, lazy. I, actually, no, Adam. No. You have to swing his tail three times. <laughs> this is lazy. I'm sorry. This. I'm a massive Mario fan. It's great. But this game has been so lazy. Every round has looked exactly the same. The concept has been exactly the same. The boss fights have been the same. 
it just got slightly harder the longer it's gone on. There's been no story to it. One of the worst you've recorded, I'd say, actually, Dave. Well, it was your idea, so sure. It wasn't Yes, it was your idea. Mario Kart. You said, oh, well, I can do a Mario game. And then you said, oh, I'll do Mario 64. And then me were like, oh, well, that sounds okay. You know what I mean? But I didn't really know what I was letting myself in for. So when I agreed to do Final Fantasy VII, I didn't know it would go on for six years. I, I'm naive. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm like Meghan Markle with Ralph Hammer. I didn't do any research. Well, you only got yourself to plan. <laughs> yeah, they always say. <laughs> fail to prepare and prepare to fail, don't they? And I'm dead. Oh, no. Oh, it's dead because the camera pulled so far back I couldn't see what I was doing. So all the game's been pointless? Yep. Because it just kicks you out here there's an extra life to your left. So I can keep trying this till you win. So basically, you've got 70 stars, and now what you're trying to do is trying to defeat Bowser to rescue Princess Peach. Yep. This game, though, you can't get away with this now because it really sends out the wrong message, doesn't it? That you've got to rescue a woman. Well, have you heard about Lola Bunny? Who? Lola Bunny. The start was, in. Was uh, she a porn actress? No, Space Jam. Sounds like a porn star, Lola Bunny. Well, that's probably what they were going for in the original game. Right, go on, anyway, what's happened? Yeah, you, you know that Looney Tunes film? Which one? Space Jam. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, Lola Bunny in the first Space Jam move, movie. Go on, Dave, get to the point here, what's happened? Come on, Adam, do you know Lola Bunny? No. In the first Space Jam movie? No. Have you not watched Space Jam? No! <laughs> I know a little bit of you. That. You haven't watched Hustlers, but I don't judge. Oh, sure. Anyway. It was it was uh, Bugs Bunny's love, love interest in Space Jam. Right. Anyway, they make a Space Jam 2. Right. And she has no tits. Yeah, but she had, tits, weird, she had tits in the original. Oh, Lola Bunny had tits the original, and now it's Space Jam 2. Cartoon porn is weird. I'm sorry if anyone watching is into cartoon porn. I've not got to be point yet, so shut up. The director said they removed her breasts because they wanted her to be taken seriously. Yeah, exactly. I'm becoming. Do you know what? Doing these videos where you is turning don't, me even don't further. Don't tell me you agree with him, Adam. I, I could end up going. Are you, are you suggesting that women with breasts can't be taken seriously? No, I'm not saying that, but I think... That sounds sexist game, to me. Well, that's another point, to be fair. But in terms of a video <laughs> game and the cartoon elements of it, yeah, it, it, should be, it shouldn't be a factor at all. You know, whether they've got big breasts or not, you should treat everybody the same. Yes, yeah, so why have they got rid of their breasts? Well... Anyway, if you won the game... The, uh, oh, yeah, there was, there, there was a scene... With uh, Pepe Le Pew. And he got me too. <laughs> and they cut that from the film. Because of course they did. It's 2021. They can't help themselves. It's a, it's a fucking cartoon. Just let it be a cartoon. Let it be a fun cartoon for kids. But no. You have to keep shoving in your bullshit. Don't you? Oh look. Peach is here. Yeah anyway. We beat Bowser. So you've rescued Princess Peach? Yes. <clears throat> I think it should be a game. She should have her own spin-off where you play as Princess Peach and she rescues herself. <clears throat> no, because that was terrible. What's he doing here? There's two of them. Why is there two toads? <sighs> Is this quite moving, this bit? No, not really. Oh, look! Do you see him? The princess in the stable, boy. The princess in the stable. <laughs> oh dear. She's not referring to sexual favours, is she? Delicious. 
Oh, um, have a look in the top right hand corner. Toad just freezes in place. I, I, I think I've picked up on a double on a double meaning in this game, Ben. Yeah, well, I said I'm gonna so, have to do some, something. So special. originally, this game was four by three because they made it widescreen. Toad just freezes in place. In I can't see it. Where? Oh. As I said it, were you not yeah, paying but, attention? Your box in Skype is there. I think there's a double meaning to that ending, James. I think that was quite sinister. I think she said, um, oh, I'm going to have to do something special for you. Kissed him on nose. He goes, oh, here we go. And then um, she said, let's go and make a cake. I think there's a double meaning in that, James. Do you? Is well, that, we'll, we'll find that out at the end of the credits, won't we? Oh, it's the end of the credits scene. Yeah. Um, Nick Fury shows up and asks, asks Barry if he wants to be part of the Avengers initiative. <laughs> That's the funniest thing you've said all day. <laughs> so, well, final man. thoughts. This creates out long, so hurry up. Uh, final thoughts from me, I'm waiting to see what the double meaning is, but uh, it was okay, decent game to play, terrible to watch, and I don't know why you did a let's play. If I just go it out of ten... Your idea, by the way. I'd give it <laughs> six and a half. Yeah. Push it in a seven. What's your end thoughts, then, quickly? Yeah, so it was it was very important for the time. Because it was one of the first 3D platformers ever. Yeah. Uh, but it's aged horribly. I don't think that. I don't think it's... You haven't played it. The controls are just a bit off. Yeah. Which is fair, because it was you know, the first 3D platformer ever. But it's just, it's crap to go back to now. It needs a remake. And you instead of remake, that, instead of a remake, Nintendo just shut out this port. Because, you know, Nintendo doesn't need to put effort into it now. Think there'll ever be a remake? Well, there was one on the DS, but they don't seem to acknowledge it anymore. <sighs> I don't know. Well, it's been a though, hasn't it? We've had some good times in this, had some laughs. So I was going to do Shadow of Memories, or Shadow of Destiny next. But um, Adam gets bored very easily. Yep. So I think we, he wouldn't enjoy that playthrough. No. See, I was going to play it, because it's 20 years old. He's just turned 20. And Charles Martinet is... He's in that game. And he's the voice of Mario here. So But we're not doing that next, but next we're doing um Metal Gear Solid 2. Oh, so they did make a cake. Yeah, they made they made a cake. So there is no double meaning. 